welcome to another episode of Crafty Beer Reviews. Today I will be reviewing a collaboration between DeProof and Trillium. This is Bouquet. This is their farmhouse ale. They are using a mixed fermentation with Britannomyces and they are dry hopping this with Citra and Mosaic. So awesome stuff. Had no idea that Trillium was going to be a part of the Brewmasters collaboration series that DeProof has been doing. They've done some stuff with a lot of great people. Trillium makes some excellent beers. As you guys know, I love them. I love Citra and Mosaic hops. Really excited for this. Let's go ahead and check out the aroma. Oh, shit. That smells really good. Oh, man. Wow. Up front, lots and lots of, like, this juicy pineapple. Definitely getting a lot of stone fruit character as well. Yeah, peach, apricot. There's almost, like, a mango kind of note in there. Wow, yeah, tons and tons of pineapple, though. Lots of stone fruit, very tropical. Definitely get a little bit of spiciness from the Belgian yeast strain in here as well, but I'm also getting some nice funky notes from that bread. Yeah, it's like a nice earthy funkiness, a little bit of a barnyard character, very, very subtle, mostly just real big on the peach, the pineapple, orange, just really, really big on that tropical. Oh, wow, it smells juicy, just smells like awesome, awesome mix of like bread, mosaic, citrus, smells awesome. Let's go ahead and take our first sip. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, that is a nice, like, pineapple juiciness right up front. Definitely mango, sweet, sweet orange in there as well. Oh, man, wow. Wow, that is really, really good. Again, lots and lots of pineapple, a lot of peach, apricot, mango. There's almost like a melon kind of note in there as well. Definitely sweet orange, a little bit of a, like a lemon kind of note in there. Definitely kind of funky too. Not super in your face, but it does have a little bit of that kind of barnyard Brett character that you get. Really, really nice though. Oh, I also get like a little bit of lemon peel, grapefruit peel, but mostly it's like tropical stone fruit combo. Again, definitely nice, nice funkiness courtesy of the bread for sure, but it's not super in your face. It's not real aggressive. Just very well balanced, very nuanced. Oh man, it's just, it's so freaking juicy tasting, especially for a farmhouse ale. Really, really nice stuff. The Citra Mosaic are really, really showcasing this quite well. Definitely get a subtle amount of tartness in there as well. It's not sour and it isn't a sour at all, but yeah, it definitely has a little bit of just a light tartness to it, which I really, really like. Lighter side of medium body, crisp, clean, easy to drink. Kind of has a nice effervescent quality to it as well. Definitely has hints of like that Belgian spicy yeast character in there as well, but I think the bread definitely adds a lot more character than the Belgian yeast strain that they use. Really, really awesome though. Easy to drink, has a nice kind of dryness to it as well. Just really, really awesome. Very, very refreshing. This is a great, great beer. I had no idea what this was. Didn't even know to expect it until my rep gave us a case. And wow, this is this is a real treat. Really, really good. Yeah. In terms of rating, guys, I'm going with a 9.6 out of 10. Absolutely fantastic stuff from the Prof and Trillium. I knew Trillium being in this one would definitely be a winner, and it is. Lots and lots of, again, stone fruit, tropical fruit. Tons and tons of just like ripe peach, pineapple, orange, mango, really awesome stuff. Nice funkiness from the bread, nice kind of subtle tartness, easy to drink, just a really awesome beer. If you guys have had this one, definitely let me know what you think down below. Alrighty guys, that does for this beer review. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Hit that like button for me, and remember, I hope whatever you're doing involves good craft beer. Cheers.